Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. In today's video we are taking a route through the garbage can. I try so many products for this channel and I don't finish them all so I figure it's sort of probably worth a chat to go through the ones that I have finished. But since I only do one of these videos every season I end up with a whole bunch of products so I'm separating this into two videos and the first one today is going to be all skincare and the next video is all going to be everything else which is like body and makeup and supplements and all that other stuff. So I do want to start by saying that while I like or even love a lot of these products, there hasn't been a lot of repurchasing and that is only because I decided that I was going to do a no buy or low buy July and sort of that spilled into August as well. I try so many products for this channel. I buy a ton and I'm also gifted a ton in PR and really, really lovely products. So I've decided to only purchase when absolutely necessary and try to use up some of the other products that I have. So that means that even if I love something, I may not have repurchased it, but I'll let you know if I intend to. And of course, there are a few that I did because I can't live without them. Okay, let's get started. So I tend to do this in the order in which I do things, right? So I'm starting off with the cleansers. And the very first one is... It's actually a pre-cleanse. It is a Bioderma micellar water. And I have been using Bioderma for years and I only use it if I'm wearing eye makeup. And I don't wear makeup every day, but if I have mascara on or eye makeup, I use this just to remove it before I do my double cleanse because I can't stand that kind of messy mascara all over my face. So I tend to get as much of that off as I can with the micellar water. Now, ordinarily it would be an automatic repurchase, but instead I picked up this guy from CeraVe. Now this is pretty pretty new, or it's pretty new here in Ireland anyway, and it is the CeraVe uh, Micellar Cleansing Water. It works just as well. I quite like it. You can see how much of this stuff I've used. It's great. It's perfect. I do believe it's less expensive. You know, for some reason, I haven't really loved the Garnier, and I don't know why. I've purchased a few of them, but I keep going back to Bioderma because I find it more effective. So for now, I'm, I'm liking the CeraVe. The question becomes, when I get to the end of that, am I then going to go back to Bioderma? So stay tuned for that one. Okay, so the next up is a cleanser. It's called the Sensitive Cleanser by S. Now, I've done a lot of talking about S, and this is a skincare range I discovered, I think, last year. Is that correct? When I started having some real trouble with my skin, and I undertook an entire program called the S Rewild Pack. Their whole range of products is specifically designed to help rebuild and to protect our skin's natural microbiome, and I'm all about that. So you're going to see a lot of empties here from this range because I've repurchased many. So the first was the cleanser, and it really surprised me because when I did their 30-day challenge, it meant that I didn't use any products other than the five in their kit. And when I first got this cleanser and started to use it, I'm like, there's no way this is going to take all the makeup off and the sunscreen. It's so soothing. It's so delicate. It's so creamy. And I was wrong. And this is something that grew on me. At first, I'm like, I don't know about this. And the more I used it, the more I loved it. Now, I've gone through a couple of these. I do have one in the bathroom now. And I think it's beautiful. Now, I'm not going to lie. It ain't cheap. You know, the full size, which is actually more like this size, is 62 euros. And I buy all mine from the S Ireland site. And it is pricey. So I have two of them because they came in a kit of five and those products with the small size. And I'm on the second one still now. And I love it, but am I going to repurchase for 62? Probably not. Now, if it was a bit cheaper, I think it's on sale right now for 55. I don't tend to spend that much money on cleansers, so not sure. But it is a beautiful product, and if you haven't checked out S, you should. So next, we're moving into toners. And it's not really an area that I use a lot of. I do a lot of misting, but I don't do a lot of tonering. But I did when it came to S. So as a part of the pack, they gave me this little one. And the larger one, I think I've repurchased three or four times. It is so soothing. And for me, it's all been about soothing, rebuilding, um, helping my skin's barrier to repair itself. And it completely did the job. So I've purchased these quite a few times. This is about 50 euros, I think, for 100 mils. But it lasts me for months. And I have purchased this, I think, three times. I do have a discount code if you purchase from S here in Ireland. Skin Obsessed Mary will get you 20% off of your purchase from any of the S products on their website. They're beautiful. I'm going to keep talking about them because I keep using them. Okay, next are the eye creams. Now, I always use eye products. Generally, two. I generally use a serum and I use an eye cream because it's the first place that we start to see aging. The fine lines and wrinkles come there before anywhere else. And I'm not expecting them to just, you know, make everything disappear. But for me, it's about plumping. It's about hydration. I just want my eyes to feel hydrated. I don't want that to be dry and crepey. It drives me crazy. So I do have a couple for you here. Guess what I'm going to say? Yes. <laughs> this is the eye contour cream and they did gift this to me in the very first pack that I received during a conversation with them. It is beautiful. I love this eye cream. 
and I think I've repurchased it twice myself or maybe even three times. It is super hydrating, it is super plumping, and it is it's just gentle and oh so lovely. It actually lasted a really long time. Now, Gary, hold your ears. It's 120 quid for 30 mils. 120 euros, that's a lot of money, but I just, it felt like silk. It was just beautiful on my, uh, underneath my eyes, and I've loved it, so I have repurchased it. Now, I haven't repurchased it again, and I have not repurchased it in a couple of months now because I've moved on to other products, which I'm gonna get to now. The next one is by Allies of Skin, and if you've been here before, you know I'm starting to learn more and more about the brand and love every single thing that I try. This is the Peptides and Omegas Firming Eye Cream, and it is beautiful. It claims to brighten and to de-puff, but that's not really what I'm getting out of it. So for me, it's about firming, nourishing, and plumping. And this just does it in spades. It has four peptides. It has omegas. It has picuccio. It has vitamin C and it has ceramide. Like it's just chock full of beautiful, beautiful ingredients. It's not cheap either. It's not 120. It's somewhere between the 70 and the 90 mark, depending on where you find it. And I would have repurchased it if I hadn't already committed to the no buy, low buy, July and now August, and I need to use the other products that I have here. But I love it, and I have every intention of repurchasing it. Okay, so next we're moving on to serums. If you've been here before, and if you watch any of my videos, this is not going to come as a surprise. It is a Biomas Hydrating Serum. I think I've purchased probably six of these, five of these, in the past year. It is a fantastic product. You buy this at Target for next to nothing. I think it's less than 20 euros. It is a super hydrating serum. It has fatty acids. It has um, ceramides, lactic acids. It has squalane. It has glycerin. My skin loves it. So when I was in the States last, I think I bought two. I have one open, two in, two, two in, in backup, and they're so reasonable. You could buy two or three of these and keep them in store. I'm, I mean, they're great. They're just great. So one of the things I like so much about this range is that they're microbiome friendly. And that is something that I'm looking for more and more in the ingredients and in the products that I'm trying or that I'm using because I know what happens if you don't protect it. <laughs> Let's just say that. So it's cheap as chips. The whole range is incredibly good. And I'm going back to the States next month and I will be picking up a ton more when I'm there. The next is relatively new and one that I am so excited about. It is by Mesama. I recently did a video about this, and the reason this has become so important to me is its use with my LED light therapy. I've learned recently that while LED light therapy is fantastic for anti-aging, it does have some downsides. You basically need to pair this with a super powerful and a really good antioxidant that's going to pair well with the LED, let me just say that. And this, hands down, is the one. So this is one of the products that I'm no longer going to be without. It's called the Green Rooibos Pressed Serum. It's a very special type of green tea. And I'm not going to go into huge detail about it because I've talked about it in another video. And in fact, I think I'm going to do a live video with Bev, the owner of Mesama. And this is one of the non-negotiables. So this is the empty. The new one is already open and in the bathroom. And I have another one on standby. So that's going to be on a repeat purchase regardless because I use LED light therapy every single day for 10 minutes a day and I use this now as well. But if you're gonna pair this with the LED light therapy, you always use this 20 minutes in advance and let that soak in before you use your LED. And you don't even need to use an LED for this to be one of the best antioxidants I've ever come across. So the next and last serum is by Ven Skincare, and this is another brand that puts the natural microbiome at its core and it's looking to protect, and this is a beautiful serum. It's called the Probiotics Sika Complex biome booster. It's a soothing serum. It is a lifting serum that helps to really calm the skin. It has prebiotics. It has probiotics. It has antioxidants, peptides, as well as niacinamide. It is a beautiful product. It is soothing. It's just lovely. Now, the downside is the price because this runs for $165 for 30 mils. So it's a bit pricey, but I love it. Now, I haven't replaced it, and I'm not sure if I'm going to, even though I absolutely adore it. It, you know, it's got a hefty price tag to it, so I'm a little unsure. But if you have the money, go buy it. <laughs> so now we're moving on to moisturizers, and we're staying with Ven, Ven Skin Care. And this is one that's called the Vitamin B Activated All-in-One Concentrate. Oh, this is so nice. This is beautiful. This is sort of an all-in-one product that can replace so many things that are probably in your routine. It hydrates, it fights free radicals, it softens the wrinkles, it improves elasticity and firmness. It is fantastic. So in fact, I was on holidays and the only two products that I took were these as well as a sunscreen and that was it. And for well over a week, maybe 10 days, all I was using with these two products and a sunscreen and my skin 
was so happy. Now the downside with this one as well, it's 185 for 50 mils. So these two products together are gonna run you about 350. Now, if that works over you know two or three months, it's not too bad, but they're pricey. Now I haven't repurchased them because if you could see my desk right now, again, I've got a lot of, a lot of lovely stuff here, but you know, it's something that I very well might come back to. If you can have just two products in your routine, you've done exceptionally well. So the last cleanser on the list is, <laughs> surprise, surprise, it is by S. And in fact, I think I have three here. <laughs> this is the Nourish Moisturizer. Obviously I have three of them. I've enjoyed it. They're just soothing. They're beautiful products. They layer well with all the other S products as well. So again, go check out my previous video on S and you can hear all about it. Okay, I lied. That wasn't the last moisturizer. It's actually this one. This is a beautiful new product by a company called Otour. Now, despite their name, they're not French. <laughs> they are German, and it is a new, relatively new, uber premium skincare luxury line. Now, they did send me a routine to try that includes an enzyme cleanser, which is beautiful, spoiler alert. It has sort of a hyaluronic accelerator. It has a serum, it has an eye cream, and it has the moisturizer. And this is the first thing that I finished. It's called the Definitive Density Cream. It is peptide and antioxidant rich. So what they say say is it promotes elevated oxygen levels within the skin to tighten, lift, and improve the skin density. It's a lovely cream. I actually think it is, it is lovely. But for me, this is the lighter of the two that they offer in their range, so it just wasn't hydrating enough. So I think that I might try the richer cream that probably would suit my skin better. Now, it's pricey. This retails for 305 euros for 30 mils. Now, I thought 30 mils was quite small for a moisturizer, because 50 would be more standard. Like, for example, sneaking this guy in, this is their 50 mil bottle, and I have a serum there, which is lovely. Um, so for, for me, this isn't one that I would repurchase. I'm gonna try their thicker cream, I think, um, and that might suit my skin better. Very bougie, very lovely. Smells fantastic too. So the next item is a number of different masks that I received from Deepology. I love these masks. It's called the Deep Care Serum Infused Micro Dart Patches. And I had never used anything like this before. I find them incredibly innovative. So more than just being the regular patches that you put on, they have thousands of tiny little micro darts built into it. And when you put them on and you puncture them, you know, you kind of push down for it to puncture your skin, it releases their serum. And it's a fantastic serum. It contains hyaluronic acid to plump the skin. It has argireline, which helps to sort of fight dynamic muscles. They say it's sort of an alternative to Botox. And it has amino acids. It's actually a beautiful serum. So I got two boxes. It was kindly gifted. Um, I've gone through one and a half, and I'm going to probably repurchase this, and this is also something that I'm going to probably gift. Um, I just think they're fantastic. I actually did a video on it, which I can put the details to that down below. You can check it out for yourself. I definitely saw an improvement overnight having used them, so they're great. So yes, this will be a repurchase. And the very last category, and probably my favorite, is sunscreen. I am all about the sunscreen, and I have, I kind of have two winners and two losers. So we're gonna start with those that I didn't love. And I don't know, this may be controversial, but it is the Super Goop um, Unseen Sunscreen. And you know, I was kind of torn on this because there were some things that I really liked about it. I liked that it was clear. I liked that it was lightweight. Um, it didn't dry out my skin. But what I didn't like about it is that it didn't play well with others. It just pilled a lot. And so I found it too complicated and difficult for me to figure out what I was gonna wear it with because I don't wanna think that much in the morning. So whether I'm wearing certain skincare products or certain makeups, I don't like to have to worry about that stuff. So I did finish it and I just used it up on my neck and chest and it was perfect for that. It is an SPF 40, um, it's just not for me. So the next one is one that I also struggled with because I really love so many things about it. It, it is by Beauty Pie. It's their Featherlight UVA UVB SPF 50. And this is a beautiful product to use. It's a beautiful formulation. It's lightweight. It sinks in well. I liked the finish on my skin. But again, it didn't play well with everything. It played well with some things. And like I said, I don't want to think that much about it. So neck and chest it went. And that's sort of where it lived until it died. So will I be repurchasing? Probably not. But it certainly costs probably 12 bucks if you're a Beauty Pie member. So it's actually a good deal. So for those of you who don't wear tons of you know, skincare or tons of makeup, it might be a really, really good alternative. The next one is by Dr. Dennis Gross. It is the Dark Spot Sun Defense Broad Spectrum 50. Now, I loved this. I got this as a part of a kit. I don't remember which kit it was. I don't really remember. But 
I absolutely loved it. There really wasn't much I didn't like about it. It absorbed well into my skin. It worked beautifully under makeup. I guess the only thing really was the price point. It's the only reason why I haven't repurchased it. It retails for about 40 euros. But I discovered this year there are so many good Korean SPFs that cost a fraction that I'm finding it kind of hard to go back and buy any of the more expensive ones. And those are some of my holy grails, by the way. So I haven't gone back to repurchase because I'm buying the newer, cheaper, better. Well, maybe I shouldn't say better, but the Korean SPFs that are just more affordable. Which leads me to the final product of this video and in the SPF category is my beloved beauty of Josan. It's the Sun Relief Rice and Probiotics SPF 50. And it is my new favorite thing. Definitely one of the winners of the year so far. It is a chemical sunscreen. It's part of a new generation of Korean chemical sunscreens. It has rice, it has probiotic extracts that's rich in vitamins B, C, and E. It has amino acids, it has minerals. It really moisturizes my skin and ugh, my skin just can't seem to get enough of it. It's super light, it just sinks in beautifully and my makeup is just perfection. Like right now, there's just no better sunscreen in my opinion than this and there have been quite a few that I'm testing. And there are quite a few that I've tried this year that I've loved, but this is the one. So I realized I don't know where my empty is. I must have actually tossed it accidentally. So this is the new one. So I did rebuy it. And once it gets down to about here, I'm going to rebuy it again and I'm going to rebuy it again. So if you're looking for a new sunscreen, I think I picked this up for less than 12 euros. It's a beauty. So guys, that is it for today's part one of Summer Empties. Were there any favorites of yours in here? And are there any things that you think I need to be trying? Please do leave your comments below because I so love hearing from you. And if you've made it this far, thank you. <laughs> thank you for continuing to watch. So part two will be coming up in the next couple of days. And once that's live, I will put the, the link down to that below as well. So thank you so much for joining today and I'll see you at the next video. Bye. See, we're actually flying along, right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh.